Since Russia invaded Ukraine, residents of Washington, D.C. have been using their own tactics to show their displeasure with Russia's unprovoked attack. Wednesday night, activists took it up a notch and targeted the Russian embassy by projecting the Ukrainian flag onto the Russian embassy building. Take a look. They're trying to drown you out. They're trying to drown you out. You see that? They're trying to drown you out. That's got to be, they've got to be the Russians. They're trying to drown you out. There's the Russian embassy. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, you guys are communicating back and forth. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, they're drowning you out, buddy. Oh! The video shows the pro-Ukraine projection moving around the building as the Russian spotlight appears to chase it. It ended up looking like a cat and mouse game, emblematic of Russia's struggle to bring down Ukraine. The Wall Street Journal reported in early March that Putin thought the invasion would be an easy one. He reportedly believed that the Ukrainian people wanted to be a part of Russia and would not put up a fight. And as of today, he has now ordered a win-by date for the war, which likely means an intensification of assault upon Ukrainian towns and civilians. Officials in the U.S. and Ukraine believe that Putin wants to declare a battlefield victory by May 9th, the 77th anniversary of the Soviet Union's defeat of Nazi Germany. Celebrated as Victory Day in Russia every year, the date is marked by a grand military parade in Moscow. What will count as a win for Putin is unclear. Russian forces are focusing on Donbass, the coal-rich region in eastern Ukraine. Putin's military plans to outnumber Ukrainian troops there in a decisive offense that could begin any day now. The U.S.'s latest pledge of $800 million in arms and other support is part of an effort to shore up Ukrainian resistance in this battle to come. The arms will be delivered to Ukraine within 48 hours, a U.S. defense official told Foreign Policy, adding, time is of the essence. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of the Raw Report, please like and subscribe and join others who like their news raw too.